All right, we'll call the council meeting to order. Everybody stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Eric, take the roll. Mayor O'Connor. Here. Morissette. Here. Wakefield. Here. Knudsen. Here. Kennedy. Here. Brooke. Here. Hall. Here. All right. First up, we have a presentation on uh, pro or a proclamation for World Migratory Bird Day. Do we comments? No, oh, I always do that. Why do I do that? <laughs> Joyce, you're usually the one to chime in, so you forgot <laughs> that. All right, uh, comments from citizens present. This is your opportunity to talk about any issue uh, that affects the city that is not currently on the agenda this evening. If you do have a comment, please come to the podium, identify yourself, your address, try to keep your comments brief. Please try not to repeat other people's comments. And uh, I think that's it. So uh, does anybody have a comment? Any comment? Any comment? Any comment? Hearing none, we'll close that portion of the agenda. Next up is the Proclamation for World Migratory Bird Day. Whereas migratory birds are some of the most beautiful and easily observed wildlife that share our communities and whereas migratory birds and their habitats are declining throughout the Americas, facing a growing number of threats on the migration routes and in both their summer and winter homes, and whereas public awareness and concern are crucial components of migratory bird conservation, and whereas since 1993 World Migratory Bird Day has become a primary vehicle for focusing public attention on the nearly 350 species that travel between nesting habitats in our communities and throughout North America and their wintering grounds in South and Central America, and whereas hundreds of thousands of people will observe WMBD uh, and take action to conserve them, and whereas while WMBD officially is held each year on the second Saturday in May, its observance is not limited to a single day, and whereas WMBD is not only a day to foster appreciation for wild birds and to celebrate and support migratory bird conservation, but also a call to action. Now therefore, I, Rich O'Connor, as mayor of the city of Hudson, Wisconsin, do hereby proclaim May 11th, 2024, as World Migratory Bird Day in the city of Hudson, Wisconsin, and I urge all citizens to celebrate this observance and to support efforts to protect and conserve migratory birds and their habitats in our community and the world at large. So, uh, Mike, oh, I thought you were raising your hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is uh, consent agenda. Approve the meeting minutes from the February 5th, 2024 regular council meeting. Approve the claims in the amount of six. $154,611.42. Approve Gopher to Badger Half Marathon. Approve the 2024 FIT ASC World Championships. Approve a conditional use permit for an auto repair garage at 1719 Cooley Road. An amendment for continued auto repair garage operation at 1701 Cooley Road, Gerber Collision and Glass. Approved development expansion of EP Rock Elementary School at 340 13th Street, Bray Architects. Approve a conditional use permit application for a drive through bank at 1670 Crestview Drive, the Royal Credit Union. Approve development expansion plans at 1440 Hagen Street, Resco. Approve the development expansion plans for Hudson Middle School at 1300 Carmichael Road, Bray Architects. And approve the transfer from wastewater utility reserve funds in the amount not to exceed $2,825,000 for the acquisition of 1201 Hanley Road. Move to approve. Second. We've got a motion and a second to approve. Roll call. Marset? Yes. Wakefield? Yes. Knudsen? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Brock? Yes. Paul? Yes. Excellent. Motion is approved. Consent agenda is approved. Closed session. Closed session pursuant to section 19.85 sub 1 sub E deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. 
potential purchase of property for police department. <clears throat> B, closed session pursuant to section 19.85 sub one sub E, deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require closed session, potential purchase of property for public works department and C, Closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statutes 19, uh, section 1985 sub 1 sub C, considering employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility. This is a confidential city administrator candidate review. Move to go into closed session. Second. We have a motion and a second to go into closed session. Roll call. Morissette? Yes. Wakefield? Yes. Knudsen? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Brooke? Yes. Paul? Oh. Yes. Motion's approved. We are now in closed session. Closed session for us is going to be upstairs in the conference room.